Alright, welcome ladies and gentlemen. Today I'll be showcasing the uh, new style fire bases that we will be dealing with and all the other neat stuff that come with it. Right now, please remember this is just a prototype map. We will be playtesting it with Clan Orta sometime next week. Uh, anybody interested in any of this and wants to learn a little bit more? Feel free to ask me. My camera tag is obviously in the video. It will be in the description. It will be all the place for you guys. I mean. Alright. So let's get started here. <clears throat> uh, da -da -da. Loading Screen Simulator 2016. If you want any of these prefabs, they are under my bookmarks. I'm currently uh, working around some of the bookmarks and stuff like that. But yeah, as you see when you start, the attackers will spawn on a scarab with weapons scattered all about, needlers, gravity hammers, plasma rifles, plasma turrets, the hunter's arm. Suppressors for Forerunner clans or whoever the hell attacks. Um, yeah, uh, the attackers get three ghosts and a wraith. Yes, there is a grav lift right here to take you back up. So if you accidentally fall off, you can get back in. There are storm rifles all about. Uh, so pretty much the attackers will spawn here. Oh. Everybody will spawn here, have the same weaponry to spawn with. Um, so, yeah, this is the attacker spawn. The base is on the other side of the map. It can kind of oversee spawn, but it's just out of sniper range, so there's really no spawn killing that can happen. So now we're gonna, uh, now we're gonna scoot our asses on over here. Now, some of you can tell this is the fortress from. Uh, Halo Wars. Now, we're moving towards bases like this. This is going to be the harvest one. So. So, the platforms are going to remain empty. Until uh, we went a raid on it. And on this goes with all of them. There are kill boundaries that block these areas until they have... Uh, Structures on it. <clears throat> they will be taken away as structures get added. So, yeah. And before we get into how structures are going to be added, I'll give you guys a little tour of the inside. Now, it's all going to be pretty bare for now until we start winning stuff. And I have uh, plans for this side of it, but eh. The button is for lockdown. Because as we know in Halo Wars, the base can lock down. SMGs, BRs, DMRs, Halo 2 BRs, two shotguns, Hydra Launcher. <sighs> so, Spanker, I need to add the other rocket for the Marines. Railgun, Spartan Laser, Sniper, both of the Tactical and Gunfighter, and George's Chain Gun. As of right now, George's Chain Gun's only on here for, uh, or George, whenever he's on the map. And we're trying to find a way to get rid of its abilities. My, without weapon pad, there's probably a way. We're trying to discover that right now. Um, Just like in Halo Wars, the front part closes. It goes the wrong way, but that's because of how it's set up in here. But yeah, um, the only thing that we'll have is two Warthogs, two chain guns. The George's chain gun is more than likely never going to be used. It's just going to be on here for aesthetic use. Uh, we'll more or less clarify that with people as we go along. We may use it, we may not, depending on the clan. Depending on how they act and things like that. But as for right now, that is the only rec weapon on the map. So now... You guys seen what we have currently. It's, again, pretty bare. And then, yeah, this button opens up the roof, which, um... 
like in Halo Wars, will allow air vehicles to be put out. So now we're going to go on to how this is going to work. So, let's say Clan A attacks us. Clan A loses, and at the end of that, we get to go in and add something. Such as, let me go to my prefabs. Uh, I guess I'll spawn in this one. Supply pad, okay. So the supply pad will increase our uh, structure, like um, respawn times and things like that. Like, let's say that we have, trying to think here, uh, like, okay, I'll use the weapons as an example. The weapons are currently set up to um, the default spawn time. Now, if we get a supply pad, it will be cut down by five seconds, meaning that we will have them down to uh, 15, because that's the default timer on those. Um, and the ammo cartridges will be given extras. Uh, initially, how we're going to start these is uh, 9v7s, 9 attackers, 7 defenders. Because and that's until we get the barracks added on, which I'm pretty sure is probably going to be the ba uh, first thing that we put on so that it's 8 on 8s. Uh, turrets can be added, and as turrets get added, there will be some pretty OP turrets that are added. But it's more or less, um, some of them are gonna, most of them are going to be aesthetic. So well, um, the field armory, when we, if we add that, we will discuss with the clan that we are uh, that is attacking us that um, field armory is going to allow us to have certain things on the map such as you know uh, for instance silenced weapons things like that you know like silent, uh, sniper with silencer on it and other Weapons such as that, no super OP weapons, like no Hellfire missiles, no singularities, none of that. It's just primarily going to be just adding silencers and or other things to weapons via the weapon pad glitch. Uh, <clears throat> so, let me spawn something else real quick. I think this is what I was looking for originally. Oh, not enough physical space. Oops. I think this is the forge. Not enough physical space. What? Okay. Okay, 343. Three. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's not spawning. Whatever. Oh, that's, um. That's the fortress. Never mind. Um. Here's the barracks. They are currently getting uh, remodels. Oh, just look at that. It's actually the barracks that we had um, prefabbed out beforehand. Apparently the scripting doesn't work on this one, so I'm going to have to probably go back and uh, prefab another one. But anyways, um... The way we're doing things is we're, we're trying to make it more innovative, more fun for both sides. It, it's going to be a cause and effect type deal. Let's say we lose a raid on it, uh, on this map, and it has supply pads, barracks, you know, weapon, uh, the field uh, armory, uh, vehicle bay, and air pad, and the air, the air pad, Ugh. excuse me for that, um, they could choose one of those to disable them. We'll have to go back and forge, take it out. And then that disables those. So let's say, for instance, they take the supply pad. They, they choose the supply pad. So, in turn, that would affect all respawn times and, you know, other things dealing with the respawns. So, like for our weapons and vehicles and stuff. Not, like, actual player respawns. Alright, but anyways, um... Yeah. If we can get more clans like this, Covenant ones that do this, cause and effect type deal, I think we can do some sort of galactic conquest type deal. Um, 
I had um, briefly spoken with Joshua. He had brought it up to me originally. Uh, but these... Uh, some of the stuff that he stated, um, looking into and to implement into some of what we're starting to do, but not completely yet because some of it just seems a little eh in the community would cry a river like they normally do. In before hate comments because of that, because we all know it's true. Uh, pretty much though, if we get this moving out throughout the community, military clans would build similar bases to us if they choose or they could choose the insurrectionist one which I'm pretty sure there is actually insurrectionist bases and in prefab already um but yeah other than that it's going to be a cause and effect type deal and if, like I said if they win they get to disable something now I already know I'm going to have somebody be like well what, what happens if they take it like this bear well, then we can't use this outpost anymore. We have to take it back from them. We're doing it how we normally would do it, where if uh, we win, we get the map. We lose the map. We lose it. But if, like, when it's bare. But if we lose on it, when it has uh, things on it, such as, oh, rest in peace. Like the supply pads, barracks, academy, all that. Oh, field armory, my bad, not academy. I'm used to playing StarCraft, my bad, guys. Sorry about that. Um, more or less, they'd have to. They could either attack this or go straight for the main base itself. Which, like I said, this is just a demo. We're working on the other maps. We're going to have a reach base. We're going to have... We're going to have bases, different planets, things like that. This currently is the harvest outpost in the, uh, the alpha base from Halo Wars. Uh, so if anybody has any questions, anything like that, please be sure to, um, you know, leave a comment, message me directly. If you want to get in on this, I'll give you all the prefabs because, um, most of my prefabs are probably blocked off due to the fact that, you know, I mean, come on, <laughs> they're prefabs and I don't want people using everything that we have yet. I just want to see everybody's at plan. I want to see how these play test out. Um, like I said, there will be changes throughout as we go along, but this is currently the first one that we have. And I await next week whenever we play test with Clan Orda. Uh, as of right now, though, if anybody, like I said, has any questions, concerns about all this, message me directly. Kick. Xbox. Uh, some of you have my Facebook. You can message me there. Or, you know, any other form of social media that you can find me on. But yeah, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, BadKid312 for being the biggest, f most flaming homosexual I know. Posted in the comments over there on my stream while I'm doing this. Much love. You can check out his YouTube channel. Uh, link to that will be in the description. Um, what else? Just one more thing I was thinking about. Uh, oh yeah. Um, now, because I know there's going to be some clans that try to call some shit on these maps. Like I said, that's why those kill barriers are there. Boom. They go all the way around and they go all the way down. So... Literally, it's just a box underneath. Uh, but yeah, like I said, any questions, concerns, you guys know where to find me. Um, on this video, this was more of a uh, spur of the moment because last night I fell asleep before I could get a chance to do this, and I was in the middle of writing the script last night for this. So if it sounds a little off, yeah, well, I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, um. Leave a like, comment your thoughts, your opinions, and yeah. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and, you know, see you guys on the battlefield.